I think if I was in a horror movie and my car wouldn't start, I would forget about the person chasing me. I'd be like, Fuck, I gotta call Geico. I gotta, <laughs> there's a lot of to do now. <laughs> a completely new movie on the fly. I am your host, Gabby Dunn. I am your other host, Allison Raskin. Thank you for joining us. Today we are making a horror movie, which I am so excited about. Okay, I don't like horror in terms of like jump scares, but I love a great um, antagonist. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we have a really good antagonist and then I don't have to watch the movie, I'll love it. It's time to meet our incredible guest, we're welcoming back Asha Michelle Wilson, television writer, producer, actor. Uh, she's worked on American Horror Story, Feud, Betty and Jones, Scream Queens. She's currently developing a comedy with FX. Welcome, Asha. Hi. Thank you for having me. And we're also joined today by James and Chelsea, hosts of Dead Meat, the ultimate destination for horror fans on YouTube. Welcome, James and Chelsea. Hey, Hi. thanks so much for having us. Yeah, thank oh. you. Okay, so obviously I, I love horror movies and we want to talk about, as we're building our version, what tropes do we see too often? What tropes do we absolutely hate? We never want to see again. Uh, my least favorite trope, I think, is being unable to open a door, whether it's locked <laughs> or not. You know, it, it, all it takes is you just you just move the lock. Ooh, um, I really don't like the car not starting. That bothers me. I think if I was in a horror movie and my car wouldn't start, I would forget about the person chasing me. I'd be like, Fuck, I gotta call Geico. I gotta, there's a lot of <laughs> Have to do now. So here are our prompts for our movie. The movie must take place over one day or one night. The story has to involve a cult and it must take place anywhere but the United States. So now, uh, where should it take place? Let's start with that. Well, okay, are we pretending that we're like producers on it? So we should pick a place that we all wanna go, right? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, sure. right, yeah. What if it's on the cruise ship? <gasps> In international waters. Ooh, our main characters can maybe be like a couple on their honeymoon, because maybe like they both hate to fly. So they're like, we're gonna take a cruise and we got it really cheap because they didn't know the whole cruise ship was filled with a cult. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> we could also do one of my favorite tropes, even though this happens all the time. If they die on the ship, but the audience doesn't know they've died. And then when they try and get off the ship, they can't. Oh, like yeah, American yeah, Horror exactly. Story season one. Yeah. yeah. Murder boat. Mr. Murphy, we're making murder boat. So what kind of cult is this? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. We do it like the health and wellness kind of groups. You oh, so what more it, of like a more of like a self like a Tony Robbins kind of. Yes, Tony and Robbins. Not less like a Keith yeah. Ranieri like like weird, quiet, creepy. Or what if it's that they sell their souls and then they and then they get shipped to a planet to like do labor there? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Is it the <laughs> devil? Okay, hold on. Is it the devil? Are they selling their souls or is it? Is it's it either aliens or oh, the devil. I like aliens. I yeah. like okay. aliens. Okay, <laughs> aliens. Okay. Who do we see playing this this Ooh. cult leader? Who's the Ooh. Who's the alien? Reese Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. Ooh, mm. that's actually very. She good. talks to you in that like southern accent. She's very like honey baby. Like she's so perfect. Can I pitch for the couple for the guy Henry Golding? Well, Henry Gold, the name that name. My brain went to Harry Crane from Mad Men, Rich Summer. Oh, I, I love feel that like. Guy. Okay, yeah. so who who would do we want to see in our relationship with Rich? This might just be because I'm watching Scandal, but I love Kerry Washington so much. I was literally thinking Kerry Washington. They really? Would be really okay. cute together. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. what about this couple? Do they need to learn? Let's spread the blame a little bit for why they're on this cruise ship. She was scared right. to fly. He's the one who found like the cheap tickets. And yeah. maybe he went so cheap because he recently lost his job and he's, he's like a having secret. a lot of uh, just feeling yeah. emasculated or like and low self-worth. I think mm -hmm. a part of that could also be if they're both or he is very like he blames like the universe for his problems kind of. That so, sounds mm -hmm. vulnerable that. for a cult right there. Yeah. What if instead of them both like giving up their soul, only he does? 
and she yeah. gets and she survives. So it's not oh, just final like girl. Su- such final a downer. Girl. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Final Whoa. girl Carrie Washington. This is turning into such a Harry Crane story. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Crane on Mad Men would end up in a boat cult because he lost his job and his wife is mad at him. <laughs> and so now let's just figure out what the aliens want from these people that they are harvesting. So if the aliens if either they control people or manipulate people through one of the senses and Carrie was born without one of those senses, like if it's something like a sense of smell or Ooh. whatever. She doesn't she, she doesn't, doesn't have a sense of smell. Yeah. Incredible. Oh, it hasn't been done great. before. Smell is the sense most linked to memory. Ooh. And something cults often do is make you forget everything that's ever happened to you before and swipe it aside through the smell. They're making people forget about their past and either using memory as like power, maybe. Maybe there's one other person on the ship who can't smell. Maybe they're just really sick and congested. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're- yeah. Or, but like that's how that's how she figures out that that's how they're doing it, is that they're doing it yeah. through smell because oh, they're, the only, they're the only two people who aren't affected. I mean, at the end of this movie, what do we want to happen? That Carrie Washington makes her husband remember her at the end? No. Oh, I think no. he's no, a goner. He's gone. He's, gone. Yeah. he's gotta die. Like the final showdown between her and her husband, he does not remember who she is and she has to kill him. What do we oh, yeah. call this film? Oh, jeez. Be well. I'm thinking of something with wellness. Well beings. Well beings. That alludes to aliens. <laughs> I think we, guys, I think we got it. Carrie and Rich needed some time to work on their struggling marriage, so they did what couples often do book a cruise. But because of Rich's penny pinching, the couple find themselves on an eerily mysterious ocean liner. Which seems very suspicious. What was meant to be an idyllic retreat quickly devolves into the couple being caught in what appears to be an elaborate, multi-level marketing scheme, but in reality is something much more sinister. And there's lots of death and murder throughout. Will Rich and Carrie buy into the essential oil business and end up with a garage full of product they'll never sell? Or will Carrie be forced to defeat a tentacle-riddled alien creature hell-bent on world domination? Find out this summer in Well Beings. Oh my god, wow, thank you so much. That was such a journey. Uh, oh, James James, and Chelsea, you tell us where we can find you. We are at Dead Meat, which is a YouTube channel that you can find on YouTube and a podcast, yeah. which you can find where Forever. podcasts yep. are. Yeah. yeah. People can find me on Instagram at Asha Michelle Wilson. You can find me in the credits of some American Horror Story seasons. Um, and keep an eye out for me for other shows as they come out that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. Thank you so much. Thank you to our guests. Thank you for you all at home joining us for this episode of Make This Movie. movie. Be sure to subscribe to the Sundance TV YouTube channel. Hit the bell so you know the next time we post. And uh, see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>